If a country is aiming for faster economic growth and a reduction in its poverty level, then it should pay attention to its infrastructure. After two years, every country is trying to look into those things which didn't get any kind of attention during the pandemic. And infrastructure development projects are one among those. And when it's about infrastructure development, how can one forget China, a country that not only thinks about its infrastructure, but also about other countries? So much so that if the country where China is developing infrastructure doesn't have enough funds, then China itself provides a loan and so that project gets completed. And when the receiving country is not able to pay back the loan in time, Messiah China doesn't grant them any time and thus the country is pushed to debt. The victim country thus the aim of repaying one loan takes another and then the other and the cycle goes on and thus it is thrown into an economic crisis. After all, infrastructure development is more important than anything because economic crises come and go and so do the people. But infrastructure projects if once stopped cannot be done again. Such is our messiah China. Isn't China a helpful nation? So today we'll be comparing the infrastructure developments as well as plans for the year 2022 of China, which is a true infrastructure lover in Europe. China's Infrastructure Development After this year's gloom of COVID lockdowns and the turmoil of the property market, China is focusing more on infrastructure development by pumping trillions of yuan into it. And this is something that'll help China to become the second largest economy. There will be an unparalleled buildup of renewable energy in the deserts of North China. It is being said that by 2030, the construction which began on wind and solar power bases in recent months is going to have as much renewable capacity as currently all over Europe. By next year, the first phase, which will have about 100 gigawatts of turbines and solar panels, will be completed. And another phase, which is 450 gigawatts, will be started this year. With more than 800 billion yuan being invested this year alone, the construction of canals, dams and reservoirs has started. A 200-kilometer-long tunnel is the most ambitious project. The 200-kilometer-long tunnel will have water flowing from the country's Yangtze River to a reservoir that's feeding northern China. And this scheme is known by the name South 200-kilometer-longer project. And this is going to be the longest water tunnel in the world by beating Finland, which is the current holder of this record. Local governments are very much interested in building urban infrastructure, which includes urban roads and water pipe networks. And thus, urban infrastructure accounts for the bulk of China's spending on infrastructure projects. China is spending yuan's of yuan's in various infrastructure development projects, ranging from renewable energy to high-speed rail. Europe's Infrastructure Development Europe, on the other hand, had been deliberately delaying or reducing its investment in infrastructure development projects. And hence, there's a need for better infrastructure in the form of power grid connections, better transport links, as well as hospitals and, of course, better schools. This is something Europe realized now. To better connect their 440 million citizens and to encourage further economic growth, the European Union's member states came together and collectively they're spending billions on infrastructure projects. And the infrastructure projects range from undersea tunnels to continent-spanning railroads. All these projects are sure to unite Europe. The 2.4 kilometers Palchisak Bridge will help to reconnect the exclave of Dubrovnik and Eretva to the Croatian mainland, and thus will help remove the need for border checks with Bosnia and Herzegovina. The construction of this bridge was first begun in 2007, but was put on hold for almost a decade. The 420 million euros is due for completion in 2022. For centuries, the backbone of the trade network of Europe and its canals, which helped to connect the interior of the continent and the ocean. Though canals are a very efficient way to transport goods, it limits the use of vessels weighing less than 600 tons. And hence, the Science Shelt project is being paid attention to accommodate larger vessels up to 4,500 tons. The project will help in linking Paris to the North Sea and the ports of Dunkirk, Antwerp, and Rotterdam. Europe's one of the most ambitious infrastructure schemes is the railway. The railway project with a price tag of 25 billion euros will be connecting the French and Italian high-speed railway networks. But what's the project name? It is the Lyon Turin High-Speed Railway, which is 270 kilometers. In short, it can be said that infrastructure, which has been the most underrated topic in Europe for decades, is now being paid attention to. What do you think will Europe be able to surpass China in infrastructure projects? Or will it be China only? Let us know in the comments section below.